What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be discussing Buff Bunny's brand new courtside collection that's gonna be launching this Saturday, February 25th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So what are we looking at with courtside? What is this about? You know Buff Bunny, they always go with a specific theme. You already know the drill. First, we're gonna go through the brief that Buff Bunny gave to me. Then we'll go ahead and take a look at the pieces that I have here today to share with you. If you find this video helpful and would like to support the channel, feel free to use my code GATA at checkout. This also saves you 10% off of your entire order. Helps out the channel big time. So if you do, please let me know so I can personally show you some love. The inspiration behind this collection. This collection will feature many customer favorite colors and pieces. We decided to play with a unique take on a tennis and basketball inspired collection, incorporating both flirty feminine and edgier street style inspired elements. We wanted this collection to be inclusive of all athletes, no matter what court you play on. Me personally, I don't play on any courts. Colorways and patterns. We got white, stardust, blush, cream, Onyx black, gray quartz, black quartz, and embossed bossy print. That's it, all right? No crazy patterns, no crazy colors, no brights, not just yet. But spring's around the corner, Buff Bunny, so what are you doing? But I really feel like a lot of you gravitate towards the darker, more monotone colors, which is all good. The Rebel Legging, just the one print. The Legacy Legging, just the onyx black. Material Girl Ribbed Legging, same thing. Legacy short, same thing. Told you this was simple. The pump short, launching in onyx black and blush. The Rosa V2 sports bra, just the bossy print. Court pleated skirt, onyx black and stardust. Okay, adding in some cream colors here. Sphinx rib sports bra, the one I'm wearing right here right now, onyx black. Reversible sports bra, ooh, looking like an Oreo cookie. Scarab jacquard top, onyx black and white. Harmony Halter Sports Bra, you remember this one from Secrets in the Sand, just like the Sphinx. They're coming back, just in the one color though. Crystal Crop V2, black and white. Dazed Dress, okay, this is my favorite active dress from Buff Bunny. Transcend T, Revolution Dress, all right? So this one's more form fit, body con. Courtside Zip Dress, this is brand spanking new. Player T, Tennis Club T, Courtside T. I actually like that they added a little more, you know, earth tones in here, we got the cream color. Game changer belt bag, okay. Oh, and the game changer backpack. This is the FAQ page. So take your time if you need to pause the video, look it over, this just goes over the changes that you can expect with the pieces. This also lets you know if certain items are similar to other ones that you may have tried. So it's definitely worth browsing over. I'll also insert the compression and support scale. This goes with leggings, sports bras, shorts, and skirts. Now let's talk some of my favorites. We're gonna start with what I'm already wearing, cause why not? The Sphinx Rib Sports Bra with the matching ribbed Material Girl legging. Both of these are in my true size small. This bra came out in the Secrets in the Sand collection. I actually grabbed it in that olive green, you remember that? I always thought the Sphinx Sports Bra was very flattering. I like this cut because it doesn't dig into my armpits. I also love the keyhole design because it makes the girls really pop. This is literally cleavage central. If you're looking to show off the girls, you know me, girl, I got none. But nevertheless, they come out to play in this. It's got such a nice lay because of the thick straps. There's nothing digging in over time. Even around the band area, nothing is digging. My true size small is perfection. If you're in between, that's when I would suggest sizing up only because there's not a ton of stretch here. You actually do have a seam that wraps around and I feel like that could possibly get tight, especially if we're similar in measurements. Definitely go based off of that because I know right here, right now, the size small is working. You do have the removable bra pads. I would give this a moderate support even with this massive hole, this chunk taken out of the bra, <laughs> I still feel like everything's held nicely in place. Now for me, I feel like this is more of a show bra, something I'm not necessarily gonna take to the gym, but if you wanna spice things up, go for it. I think you'd be just fine. I've been dying to get my hands on a pair of just black material girl leggings. I fell in love with these leggings during the Secrets in the Sand when I grabbed that olive green. Now I wanted a staple black that I can wear with anything because they're that comfortable. Just like the sports bra, it's an all over heavy rib. It only has about a moderate compression, but the overall lay seems so seamless. Even though it's not seamless at all, I really like the fact that there's no crazy bunching. You don't have any awkward lays. It's a nice length. The band doesn't dig in. I just think it's your, your staple athleisure legging. This does have a decent amount of stretch, so 
only if you're in between, I would suggest you could get away with sizing down if you're in between. Over on the back, you still have their traditional V seam. The seam in the front is not straight, flat, and boring. It has a nice subtle V to it. Let's talk about the court pleated skort. This is in the color Stardust. So a really pretty light cream color. This is so short on me. <laughs> Very short, I didn't anticipate. I didn't anticipate it being that short. So we have a really thick elastic band. This does sit high-waisted on me. The band doesn't dig into your hips. I like the overall lay of this. It's not uncomfortable and it doesn't grab too tight. You have your built-in shorts with two side pockets. Very soft material, very stretchy material underneath. It is subject to rolling. If you're getting really down with your angles, it might roll a bit. Overall, love a pleated skirt. I think it just looks so airy and carefree. I would stick with my true size small. If you're in between, maybe size up because the shorts are pretty tight. They do cinch in a bit. I'm very sensitive in that area. And yeah, they do cinch in. I grabbed the reversible sports bra. They launched this bra in that 70s collection. They called it the high roller sports bra. They did change it. They tweaked it by cutting off some length right here. I'm glad they did that. I actually wore the high roller sports bra to the gym a few weeks ago. And I noticed there was so much extra bunching material underneath. So in order for it to be a little more supportive and flattering, they took a little bit of that length off and it really has such a better lay overall. Now keep in mind, this bra, there's no padding in it, none. Not even an option to insert. So this is more of a lounge bralette or if you wanna go out, it is technically thick enough. Like for me, I feel, like I said, comfortable enough to work out in the gym with it. It is not adjustable though, so keep that in mind. It is a very simple sports bra. I do like this side better because I think the reason I gravitate towards the sports bra is I like that look of the trim. Flip it the other way and now you have an all black sports bra. This is more of their new bray fabric, buttery soft to the touch. If you're a heavy sweater, this will get soggy. Tiniest, teeniest, tiniest little baby elastic band on the bottom here. It won't hold you if you got a lot going on right here, but for my small busted babes like myself, this does the trick. Low support, my true size small is perfect. If you're in between, definitely suggest sizing down. This is a good amount of stretch. Next up, let's chat about the pump shorts. I grabbed them in the color blush and the scarab jacquard top. Now, both of these are in my true size small. Let's start with the top. This crop top has a built-in shelf bra. So basically it has an elastic band, removable bra pads, mesh lining. It's kind of a floating bra underneath there. It's very breathable. I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is. Bay says it looks like fortune cookies or a horse's hoof. I don't- Cow hoof. Oh, my bad, a cow hoof. I think it's really pretty and subtle. There's no contrast, it's all one color other than obviously the emblem on the back, which is a rose gold. The neckline is very squared off. So this is a very squared off crop top, has a little bit of length, not too much, still a crop, and it's very stretchy. This material is very soft to the touch. You can feel that textured jacquard and you have adjustable straps. Actually, this is my favorite part of this entire crop top, the straps. <laughs> <laughs> Two straps on each side. These are very thin, strappy, almost satin straps. Very angelic, I don't know. This is what I'm getting from this crop top. It's got a very angelic type of style. These straps are adjustable too. I had to adjust it when I first got it in. Overall, very low support. I would not suggest doing anything high intense in this. I think you could really get use out of this in yoga. V pump short might be one of my most prized pieces in this entire collection. You know, if you watch this channel, how I feel about shorts. I am so weird when it comes to tight fit shorts, like over the top picky, but I am a huge lover of loose fit shorts. Yes, I am. This blush, uh, it's so pretty. It's just a really pale pink. These shorts would be perfect, honestly, for the gym because they're so breathable. The entire top layer is stretchy mesh. There's no lining underneath. That's the only downfall. I don't mind it so much if I'm just using this cap Casually, if I'm up on a leg press, then I might worry. You have the over the top stretchy draw cords and this is double layered. So you can feel that thickness. It's not a thin layer of mesh and that's it. Thick elastic band, doesn't dig in. Overall, very comfortable short. If you're in between, you prefer a more form fit, you could size down. But my true size small is great. I wouldn't change a thing about these shorts. And on top of that, you have two pockets. They don't zip, but you got two pockets. 
I had to grab the day's dress. This came out with that 70s collection. I had a floral dress. To me, this is a great active dress for a few reasons. Well, first of all, I'm really happy to say that they fixed the chest area. For me, it doesn't droop as much. They shortened it by an inch. So now the built-in bra holds you in a bit better. Overall, a really silky material. This is a nylon spandex blend, so very wicking. If you wanna work out in this dress, do it. Or throw on a pair of heels and go to the club. I actually plan to use this during the summertime. Nothing better than a stretchy wicking active dress in the summertime. You don't have to worry about anything and you can just up and go and sweat your bum off in it, especially with the built-in shorts. So you do have pockets in these. You have two pockets. One is the reverse pocket where you could put a tennis ball in. Obviously I'm not playing tennis, but it's good to have that option, I guess. You have the removable bra pads, basically everything I could ask for in an active dress. This covers it all. The backing is really pretty. It's not adjustable, but I don't really feel like I need that. Very true to size. If you're in between, I would say size up if you don't want the shorts to be digging in and getting too tight down there. It has a beautiful drape. It's not clingy. It doesn't hug your legs tight. It just is, it just exists and I appreciate it. I grabbed the courtside dress in white. And guess what? I got my tan all over it, yay. This dress was very hard to get on for me in my true size small already off the bat. I would probably suggest sizing up if you're in between now. I would stick to my true size because eventually when I got it up, it fit okay. There was a little bit of wrinkling around in certain areas. If you're in between, only if you're in between, then size up. This is a very tricky dress for a few reasons. This cutout runs the risk of giving me a muffin top. If I really move it around and adjust it, it's okay. You don't have any adjustments. You do have removable bra pads, a full zip in the front. You even have a little clasp at the top. This way you can open up the zipper, give it a little sex appeal. This dress doesn't have the wicking factors that I feel with the dazed dress. Where that dress is more silky, wicking, this feels like it's gonna absorb a little bit. Overall, I think it's a very sexy dress. A little too uncomfortable for me to wear. I think it, it feels more like I'm wearing saran wrap, especially because right around here on the backside, this material is gonna wanna ride up and you can get a little bit of excess bunching right above your glutes. But again, this is the first time they're launching this dress and just like any of their other previous pieces, Things that might need work take time and maybe they will make some improvements here. I mean, they've done it with pretty much everything we've already seen, so I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Let's talk tees. We have the Transcend Tees in gray and black quartz. In all honesty, this gray, there's a little bit of a purple to it. More of a purple blush color, not gray. <laughs> I'm not seeing any gray. This is more of what looks like a cloud pattern. A little more marbly pattern happening over here. So even though these are both the Transcend T, they both have different designs. Light, fluffy, airy cloud, dark, rough granite. These are both in my true size small. They are oversized. If you prefer a more form fit, less oversized fit, absolutely size down 100%. Me, true size small, I'll stick with it because I am using these as a pump cover, just casual, I don't care. It does have that performance material, so it's very wicking and breathable. Very lightweight, airy, cool to the touch. This is their Nimbus fabric. So I personally prefer this type of t-shirt over cotton t-shirts when I'm trying to stay calm, cool, and collected. Let's take a look at the courtside tees. These are 100% cotton, so they can shrink a little bit. I actually snagged these in a large on purpose. I wanted to use them, again, as pump covers, lounge shirts and things like that. We have the cream t-shirt and the white. The white has a very blush tone text. The cream has an earthy green. These are the backs, just so you have an idea. I'm showing you the back side. The front is more minimal, where you just have a little port side Buff Bunny collection. I truly am glad that I sized up in these. They give that oversized fit its perfection. And lastly, I have the player tee. So this says court side really big. In the background, it's a picture of a distressed basketball hoop. Down here, it says Buff Bunny collection. Meet me at the court. Again, this is made out of 100% cotton and I did size up to a large. Which do you prefer? The court side or the player? Honestly, I think I prefer the court side. I think this groovy text is a straight vibe. All right guys, so that concludes today's video. As you can see, this was a very small and simple drop. Do we like the simplicity and the more simple tones? Or are you like, come on, where's the brights? Where's those patterns we love? I think there's some select pieces that are really worth looking into. Those shorts, the mesh shorts, 
they're my favorite thing. <laughs> Sticking on the sidelines with this one, or are you gonna play some ball? Let me know, comment down below. Thank you all so much for being here. I love you, and I'll catch you in my next video.